new take on an old but ever-growing problem, homelessness. Once thought by many to be the outcome for addicts and the downtrodden, it's taken on a whole new meaning as the job crisis and foreclosures continue to slam our state. As Fox 2's Amy Lang reports, a performance this weekend is giving those very people a voice that needs to be heard. You have to have an income in order to have a home. How are you going to get a home if you don't have an income? For most people, it's hard to even get a job. Actress Sandra Love Aldridge portraying John, a homeless man she interviewed at a shelter in Detroit. Her fellow actors look on. They say homeless people are an eyesore. But in that building over there, an eyesore, all those buildings, that one, that one, that one, you got six abandoned buildings down there. All you have to do is open one up and put some people in there. This is a dress rehearsal for unheard voices. Think of it as the homeless monologues. Students, faculty, alumni, writers from the University of Detroit Mercy interviewed members of Detroit's homeless community. It's their stories the actors are giving voice to, and those stories are powerful. Becoming a character, interviewing um, Vera, um, spending time with her, hearing her story, knowing that she was so grateful to share it with somebody who listened and cared. It's an opportunity for people to see how powerful that the theater can be in terms of helping other people, um, which I think is what a lot of us want to do. There are so many children and so many families now in homelessness that we have to do whatever we can. That's why we're here. Yolanda Fleischer is the director and the creator. This labor of love has been in the works since 2004. Now about to retire from University of Detroit Mercy, Fleischer's calling this her final exam, raising awareness about the estimated 18,000 homeless in Detroit and thousands more in surrounding communities. It's been an enlightening experience for all of us and uh, a growing, I think, experience spiritually, emotionally for everybody that participated. The premiere and gala fundraiser are Friday night and tickets are still available. Saturday and Sunday's performances are pay what you can or bring a clothing item on a hanger to donate to the homeless. All of the proceeds from this weekend go to the Homeless Action Network of Detroit. For more information, log on to MyFoxDetroit.com. I'm Amy Lang.